guys, Kick27 here, bring you a Let's Play of Pokémon Tournament for the Wii U. Uh, this is version 1.2. Uh, I got this, uh, the date was released, but I'm sorry I haven't recorded it. Uh, because I've been really busy lately and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm doing this for the month of Pokémon, Pokémon, you know, Pokémon month, this month. I'm gonna do a whole bunch of Pokémon games. And, uh, you can win some pretty cool stuff. At the end of the month, uh, and I'll tell you how you can do that at the end of the video. But yeah, let's start this. This is so awesome, though. I mean, look at that intro. Uh, I don't know if I already put the intro in here or not, but that intro was like so sick and everything. And there's Pikachu and like Lucario fighting, and then you got uh, what's it? What's his name? Uh, the giant shark, and then you got that uh, Firefox. I'm trying to remember what his name Gabite? No, Garchomp. Yeah, that's Garchomp. And then you got Delphox right there. I think her name is Delphox. But, uh... Yeah, I want to show you guys the intro. I guess. But yeah, it's just basically like it shows you everything. And then, uh, Suicune and, like... The champ fight and everything. And then, um... Uh, Machamp like Mega Evolves and stuff. And then he's like, Oh, I'm super swole! And then, uh, he just freaking, uh, bro fists, uh, Suicune. And the whole plot of this game is like, there's like a whole Shadow Mewtwo thing. And then there's like, uh, different trainers like controlling the Pokemon. So they, they sink, but like, their souls with the Pokemon or something, and they control them that way. And then, uh, they actually fight through their Pokemon or something, and then this girl, like, freaking uses Shadow Mewtwo, and, like, she Mega Evolves. And that's the protagonist, the main protagonist of the game. And he's, like, Lucar with Lucario. And then he just, like, they freaking fist it out. And then, poof, it just freaking ends. And then it's like, ah, Pokemon Tournament! Yeah, and then there's no music after that, so I'm just gonna skip that. Sorry if that was too long of an intro, guys. I'm sorry. Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, she has voiceover. Hey, Nia, what's going on? You look pretty cute, Nia. I'm one of the battle trainers here in Pharaoh. Yeah? <laughs> I, I guess I guess this game is fair. Um. I battle alongside my <laughs> trusty partner, Weavile. Have you ever seen a Pokemon this cute? I doubt it. I don't think Weavile's cute. What are you talking about? Weavile's a pretty good character in this game, though. Oh, he's just sleeping over there. Don't mind him. I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> I'll trust you. interesting new trainer I heard about who's about to join us. Yeah. I show you around and stuff. I'm a YouTuber. I'm interesting. Right yeah, you can show me around anytime, girl. Welcome to the Ferrum Battle. Oh yeah. Let's Here in Ferrum, duke it out. You need to work as one with your partner Pokémon and face off in some intense one-on-one -on -one battles. After you finish your trainer registration, you'll be given something called a Battle AR. Yeah, that's so like you use that to like sync up with your it Pokemon, I think. Synergy stone built into it that allows you to synergize with your Pokemon in battle. Yeah, so it's basically like syncing with your Pokemon like mentally so you control okay, them we'll and you're both in sync. Later. Yeah. You've got a whole bunch of new experiences awaiting you here. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what sort of trainer you turn out to be. I know, right? I'll give you whatever assistance I can, so just try to have some fun out there. Right Thanks, then. Nia. You're pretty you cute. Alright, let's get ourselves registered. Sorry if this took so long. So you have to use the Wii U gamepad, guys. Uh, for player one. Player one is always a Wii U gamepad. If you want to play local multiplayer, you have to use a Classic Controller Pro or a Wii U Pro Controller. Okay, someone wants me to put my name in here. So I'm obviously going to put my, my YouTube name. Uh, where is it? Kick27. Let's go. <laughs> Make my nipples hard, let's go. Uh, Alright, I set up my name. What now? Don't wanna be a boy or a girl. Girls are pretty hot, but I mean, I'm a boy. And I don't wanna think, I want people to think I'm a pedophile or anything. No, not a pedophile, freaking uh, pervert, yeah. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a guy. I'm gonna be this color, cause I'm, I'm not that white. Am I white? Yeah, I'm around like, between this one and this one, so I'm gonna be like the standard one for the skin color. And what's the faces? Oh! <laughs> what? And it's like, you're a virgin, aren't you? And he's like, what? 
Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, he's got that little smirk right there, and that guy's all angry, and he's got a smirk. I guess, I guess I'll be this guy. I guess I'll be chill. Because I'm always happy-go-lucky and everything. Uh, oh, my eye colors. Okay, so I have medium brown. Do they have medium brown? Uh, there's dark brown, jet black, purple rage. Oh, purple rage? I didn't know that was a color. Red copper. Gray eyes. I don't even see that. Those don't look like gray. They look like purple. Liars. Sky blue looks like gray, pretty much. Uh, no, forest green looks like gray. And then there's silver, which isn't even silver. <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, uh... Which one? Yeah, I have, I have dark brown eyes to continue, uh, in real life. Continue with this selection? Yes. So you can't change your hair and your costumes until later in the game. You have to unlock them by playing through the game. So uh, when you play a single player, which is like the campaign, you can play it multiple times. And you can unlock uh, Mewtwo at the end of it. And uh, so these are the Pokemon you have. Uh, you unlock Mewtwo and Shadow Mewtwo at the end of the game through the, through the campaign. Uh... So, uh, once we pick our Pokemon, we're stuck with that until we beat the campaign, uh, and we can choose another one. So, uh, someone I know wanted me to play, uh, Pokemon that Mega Evolves, even though I'm super good with Pikachu, because Pikachu's awesome, and he's my favorite Pokemon, and Pikachu Libre, because I love Nacho Libre, and I love Pikachu, so it's like the best combination. But fun fact, uh, since that Pikachu has a hard tail, that's actually a girl Pikachu, so that makes it even cooler, I guess. Um, uh... Female power, uh, anyway, uh, I have played, uh, Blaziken, Pikachu, and Skeptile, um, and I haven't really been, like, playing with Lucario, I really want to play him, but, like, I, 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 I need to practice, so I'm gonna play with Blaziken, guys, <laughs> look at that chicken dick right there, ugh, it's poking out, ugh, uh, you selected this Pokemon as your partner, yes? Yes, I'm stuck with Blaziken until I beat the game, beat the campaign. I'll probably play through, if you guys want me to play through the whole campaign, I'll play through the whole campaign. And, uh, I'll, uh, maybe we'll, me and my friends will do some, uh, battle videos together. Because so, I haven't made, done the training. The region where we are now. Okay. It's a huge island surrounded by nothing but the ocean itself. Isn't that what an island is? A body of land surrounded by water on all sides? Nia, <laughs> get your shit straight. Uh, Farm region, right? Are super popular here. If you have I bet. Guessed, the types of battles differ a bit from city to city. From city so to city. I'll just give you the short and sweet version. So there's different maps in cities. To start off. Right now, we're here in Old Farum Town. Okay, we're in Old Farum Town. It's also known as My Town. Okay. Here you can check your battle data and change your settings. Stuff like okay, that. so we check the battle statistics and our settings Don't for the game. Don't worry. Whenever we head to a new area, I'll give you the rundown. I've got your back. Thanks, Nia. Next up is right here, Farum Stadium. This is where the Farum League is held. Yeah, that's like the campaign for this game. This is a single player mode where you battle your way to victory in the official league. So it's like trying to go to the Pokemon League, pretty much. But like, you find different trainers on the way. Next up is Teller Town, I suppose. Here you can join in casual matches against CPU opponents. Yeah. When you want to battle against your friends, you should head over to Selen Island. Yeah, so Selen Island is where we want to go for local there, battles with our friends. Using the game pad and one additional controller. Which has to be a classic controller pro or we put control, by the and way. Then there's Neo City, where you can battle against online players from around the globe. Cool. I didn't know that's what it was called, Neo City. Oh, right. I forgot one other important place. Yeah. In Techna City, Techna you can City. Learn all sorts of stuff about battles and practice a bit too. I'll give you a nice little walkthrough in the tutorial. Okay. Alrighty then. Guess I went on a bit longer than planned, but that should be just about everything. Okay, cool. Feel free to start off wherever you want, but yeah. I think you might be best off heading to Techna City to play through the tutorial and learn the basics of Ferrum battles. Okay. So yeah, guys, we're gonna go to practice first because I I don't know how to use uh I don't know all the techniques for this game. I've only played it a little bit. And I don't know stuff like counters or grabs or uh, the different face ships and stuff like that. But I'll try to explain it as we. I mean, she'll explain it as we go along. Here, so this episode is gonna be the, like the training and, and everything. As much as you see fit. Okay. In tutorial. I'll teach you all about battling from the basics. 
In free training, you can use a number of settings to practice however you see fit. Practice our ECV. I okay. recommend starting off with my tutorial. Oh, right. You yeah. can use the pause menu during battle to check your Pokemon's move list. It's pretty useful, so make sure to use it. Yes, yeah, so each Pokemon has different move attacks and everything. And uh, different counters. No, each Pokemon has their own counter and grab combination. So, like, let's say X plus A for one Pokemon would be, like, a different one for another Pokemon. So that's when, you, if you use certain Pokemon, uh, if you change Pokemon, you want to go check that move list out. Or look at most of them so that way you know what you're doing. Uh, let's do, let's do her tutorial first. Uh, cause this episode is episode zero. This is the tutorial. Okay, uh, basics of battle. Alright, let's do the basics of battle in the action dojo. Choose your Pokemon. Obviously I'm gonna be Blaziken because I made the main campaign Pokemon Blaziken. Basics of battle. Here you'll learn the basics of battle. Moving and attacking. You also learn the standard flow of battle. Okay, cool. So me and my friends played this game, but we didn't do the tutorial. So we don't know everything about this game. So they wanted me to play this. So, play through this. So I could teach them how to play as well. And then maybe we could do some, like, local multiplayer battles. Like, for the month of Pokemon and everything. Alright. Yes, okay. In this course, I'll teach you all about the basics of the game. Yeah. Then, what shall we start with? Alright. Moving your Pokemon. All right. Yes. Alrighty. I guess we better start off learning how to move. All right. Go ahead and try moving your Pokemon. All right. You can use the plus control pad to move around the field. So you can use the D pad. You can also jump with the B button. Yeah. So you can use the D pad or the joystick to move around. You press the B button to jump, to dodge. Out, I mean, to jump out of the way and attack. Twice on the plus control pad, you can step forward and back or side to side. Huh. I didn't know that. It's hard with the joystick, so it's okay, like... Let's move on. Dang it, I didn't get to try that. Use the ranged attack. Next up, we'll learn how to attack. Press this yeah. button to use long distance attack. Oh, so why is long distance attacks? Or is it different for every Pokemon? Long distance attacks are called ranged attacks. Okay. Try to land a few ranged attacks. Press Y for ranged attacks, okay. Nicely done. Okay, so why is my ranged attack? Okay. That's cool, I didn't know that. I know there's three attack buttons, yes. Next, press this button over and over again. You'll launch an attack that'll chase down your opponent. Okay. So why is there projectiles and like X is uh my my homing attack? Damn it, I have to get three in a row, so eh, 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 eh. So yeah, the first nice. X attack will like home in on your opponent. At least for Blaziken, I think it might be different for each Pokemon. But uh, this is what Blaziken's move set is. Here's the important part. Yeah. All battles consist of two states: field phase and dual phase. Okay. At the start of the battle, where we are right now, is it's field phase. phase. So field phase is basically you can roam around in 3D and and do stuff in 3D, basically. And this is dual phase. So this is dual phase, where it turns 2D like Tekken or Mortal Kombat. Okay. You can tell which phase you're in by checking here. Yeah, in the bottom right corner of the screen. Now then, how do you go about changing phases? Yeah, I wonder that. Sometimes it just changed. If you land a certain type of attack, you'll shift phases. Oh, okay. Let's check out this demonstration. Okay, so for okay, so for Y will change the dual phase. Alrighty, now try to shift to dual phase. Okay. Try to hit your opponent with this attack. Okay. All right, let's try it with a joystick first. Eh. Oh, cool. Okay, so you can do it with the joystick or the okay. D-pad. Now you've changed the phase. So it has to be up on the D-pad in 3D, and in the other phase from dual phase. In dual phase, you can dish out some serious damage. damage but close com combat. Excuse me. Okay. Here's where the real battle goes down. Oh, look at Blaziken doing that freaking dance, though. The way you move around differs a bit from field phase. Okay. Let's practice moving around in dual phase. Okay. By pressing forward twice on the plus control pad, yeah. you can perform a forward dash step. Okay. By pressing back twice on the plus control pad, yeah. you can perform yeah. a backward yeah. dash step. Yeah, 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 you yeah, yeah. You can jump using the B button. Ooh. In dual phase, the action is highly varied. Yeah. What action? 
Oh, I think she means like right, attacks. That should be good. Okay. Shift back to field phase. Okay, so how do you switch Land it from dual phase? On your opponent, and you'll shift from dual phase back to field phase. Okay. Oh, so I gotta grab. So my grab is Y and B at the same time. Okay. You can also just land a bunch of hits and... Yeah. Oh, so a bunch of attacks in a combo will change the phase. Okay. So that way they don't Send get stuck. Flying back into field phase like this. Okay. Alright. Yes. Someone with wits like yours has probably already figured this out, but yes, will involve shifting back and forth between field phase and dual phase. Okay. Move well, really about the battlefield is the field phase, which is 3D, and then dual phase is the, the 2D one. Deal incredible damage in close combat. Okay. Plus, yes. Cause a phase shift, you'll get a nice little bonus. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, you'll fill up your synergy gauge. Which is basically your, your um, yeah, your super, like, it'll charge up your super slash mega evolution uh, thing. So I, okay, so I have to press X a bunch of times, so, yes. We'll talk more about how to use the synergy gauge later on. Okay. About blocking. So blocking is right bumper, I believe. Ah, right. I forgot to tell you. you yeah. Can block by pressing the R button. Yeah, which by is the right blocking, bumper. You can all but completely defend against your opponent's attack. Yeah, so blocking will block all attacks, like legitimately, and that's second go from behind you. Just hold down the R button and you'll be fine. Yeah. So you can hold it for a long ass time. So you basically block all their attacks. There we go. Whenever you're in a pinch, just Yeah, so basically you can just block forget. all their attacks. And then you can basically just get out of the shield and then just freaking like wreck on them. Right. Synergy burst. Keep an eye right here on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, so that's your synergies thing where you mega evolve slash uh, do your super this thing. This is your synergy gauge. Yeah. Your synergy gauge will fill up as you land or take hits. Okay. Once your synergy gauge is full, Try pressing the L and R buttons together. Okay. So yeah, you use the left bumper and the right bumper to uh do the synergy gauge thing. So like this. Oh Mega Vault! Mega Blaziken! Let's go! Just blaze! Your Pokemon will be super powered while it's in Yeah, so its stats get buffed up like a lot. Synergy burst. About burst attacks, okay. You can use a burst attack once during every synergy burst. Okay. Oh, my burst attack. Okay, so that's basically my super move. That's what she was trying to say. Yeah! Suck my chicken dick! <laughs> and, yeah, look at that dick. Oh, man, that's so gross. Uh, about burst attacks? Yeah, that dealt a lot of damage. You can only do it once while the uh, while you have it while, while you're uh, while you've mega evolved or while you you've activated your synergy gaze. So that's basically the basics of battle. Uh, let me see how long this video has been running, guys. I'll be back.